Hey, what's up, M2? This is Jim here. Today we're going to go over how to get your on-page code from a publisher uh, from our page into our GDPR cookie wrap function. Uh, so first you're going to need to get your library set up, your GDPR library. This is what you'll normally see on a pub's page. Um, this stuff here is all kind of like specific to the publisher. This is where they get put disclosure body, title, privacy policy, publisher name, etc. What we want to focus on right now is this function here, this PGJS publisher cookie wrap. So what that's essentially doing is saying hold anything inside of this function until after the user clicks OK, I consent. Right? So normally whenever a page fires up, uh, Google Analytics and DFP and all these things start tracking the user and doing all kind of stuff. Um, what this is doing is saying don't run any of that stuff until the user gives consent. So that's the whole reason we're going to move anything from the page into this cookie wrap function is because it's essentially a time delay. So first, uh, you know, we have this set up. We got a cookie wrap ready to take on whatever code we give it. Uh, we also need to get some code. So let's go to our lucky test page. This is file hippo. Um, we're going to use this page specifically, this download underscore CC cleaner, because they're using on page code. And that's what this tutorial is about. So to get to the page source, uh, you're just going to right click in the page source or use source, depending on the browser that you're using. And we're going to look for some code. Now, we want to look for our M2HP code, but there's also this tag manager code. So let's just pull this anyway, because it never hurts to practice. Okay, so we got one script there that's of interest, because publishers are going to need to push this into cookie wrap as well, right? You can't run tag manager as tracking and doing all kind of stuff. And so let's go down through here a little bit. So how do you know you're looking at M2 code? Well, the telltale sign that we have is M2HB. So if you see uh, window.m2hb, you see M2HB here, uh, that means you're looking at our stuff. So we're going to select this, go down as far as it goes, and dump it into our text editor. Okay, so now we essentially have on-page code here, right? We want to get into this cookie wrap. So as we've seen before, uh, what you'll do for Tag Manager is before the script ends and after it starts, you don't want to pull the script stuff in here. The reason is, uh, in HTML, uh, you're going to say like anything, like this is a script tag, right? This is a script tag too. It's its own script tag. Uh, but when we're looking at the GDPR code, you see that this is its own script, right? And then this is also the end of its own script. And if you're in a text editor, you can see how these are linked, see how these are like paired up, like best friends. So that means that uh, because you're already inside of a script tag, you do not need uh, to do your own script tag. So it's as easy as this. You just take the publisher or take the on page code, uh, oh, make sure you get it all down to the last semicolon. Semicolon is kind of like a period in JavaScript, it's like the end of a sentence. And you're just going to copy it into there. And then the same thing with your tag manager. From the last semicolon to the beginning of the statement. And obviously, you want to keep these separate, but uh, you can put them in any order. Uh, it'll just mean that, like, tag manager will be looked at first if it's above, or our code will be looked at above if it's, it's first. But that's it. Uh, at the end of the day, all you're doing is putting uh, whatever code is on page in its own script tag inside of our function. That's it. I know it looks super easy because uh, it is, but there's a more, another layer to this, which will be how to test this to see if it works, and we'll go over that in the next video. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tips. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks. We'll catch you next time.